Let's face it, for some women, being the other woman in a relationship frees up her time, keeps her unavailable, and takes the committed relationship pressure off of her. However, being the other woman, or some may call side chick, is not appealing. In this video, we will discuss some of the personality traits of the other woman and how to never settle for that role. I often like to say, we teach people how to treat us and you never want to be in a relationship with a man who treats you as the other woman. These are some things you want to look out for. Number one, one of the personality traits known in that role is unavailability. The other woman is often unavailable. And when I mean unavailable, I mean she is separated from really connecting in a relationship. She's often comfortable just being by herself. Not to say that every woman who's comfortable being by herself will be in the role of the other woman. But what I'm saying is oftentimes you teach people how to treat you. So if you're unavailable, if you're really not desiring to connect spiritually, mentally, in an intimate way with your partner, you can open up rooms for other people to come in to do that. That doesn't give cheating an excuse at all. Cheating is no, there's no excuse for cheating. But at the same time, you want to be aware of what healthy traits and personalities maintain healthy relationships. So ask yourself, are you unavailable? Do you have a tough time connecting and really engaging in a relationship and learning about another person and allowing yourself to connect with another person on a deep level. So in a healthy relationship, you want to have a healthy communication with your partner. You want to listen well. You want to be available in the relationship. Next, oftentimes a personality trait of the other woman can come off as being clingy. When it comes to having a relationship with someone else, they are clingy, they desire attention, they constantly compare themselves to other people, you know, or other women, and they become very clingy and needy and desperate. These are some things you want to eliminate in your life. If you're dealing with some of these personality traits, be aware. This is great for you to be aware of it and to understand how you can subconsciously teach people to treat you a certain way or teach someone to see you in a certain light or to see you as an other woman or whatever because we know that you're more than that. We know even the person, even the women who find themselves in that role of being the other woman instead of just being in a monogamous, healthy relationship, we know that they're worth more than that and they don't have to settle for that. This video is all about just shining light on some personality traits that can weigh you down and that can teach others to often use and mistreat you. So you want to be aware and not to be clingy in any relationship. And the number three personality trait I'm going to talk about is revolving your life around a man. Never revolve your life around a man. You were created for an amazing purpose. There's so much to you. You don't have to settle in who you are and revolve your entire life around another person's agenda and who they are and what they have going on. So you want to make sure that you have your own life, that you enjoy your life, that you have goals that you're reaching for, that you are ambitious, that you are growing, that you are getting better, that you are getting healthier, that you are getting stronger in every area of your life. If you find yourself revolving your life around a man, you want to begin to stop that right now and really do some things differently. 
And so the final trait when it comes to being the other woman is flirting with other men to make your partner jealous. Now this is a big one. This is one that will cause a lot of issues in your relationship. And you may be thinking right now, well, I don't flirt, but my partner is flirting. That's still a bad trait, whether it's you doing it or the other person. It's a red flag and it needs to stop because it's not going to help your relationship. So if you find yourself trying to make that other person jealous, flirting, doing things on purpose, posting certain pictures up on social media, showing you with other men. You want to be aware of what signals this is sending to your relationship. You want to pay attention to how this is making you look and how your partner can turn on you because of this. And think about it. If your goal is to be in a happy, healthy relationship, these traits will not serve you. If you're unavailable, if you're flirting with other people, if you're clingy, if you're, you're walking around with low self-esteem, this will not serve you or your relationship. So these tips can be applied for anyone to utilize, to be aware of when it comes to developing and growing in a healthy relationship. Now, I want to hear from you. Drop your comment and let me know, have you ever been the other woman? Maybe you've dealt with it before, didn't know that your partner had another relationship. What happened? How did you handle that? I want to hear it below. Or maybe you've never understood the role of the other woman and why some women feel that role. Let us know below. I want to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And for more lessons of love, wellness, and wealth consciousness, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're ready to go deeper into this topic and learn how to attract real love, I want to invite you to join my free webinar, Manifest Your Soulmate. Click the link in the video description. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.